Please forgive me for the washer going off. I have a mattress attempting to displace the sound, but I felt like that this was an important discussion that I needed to have. One of the greatest compliments that I've ever received in my entire life was that I am consistently inconsistent. I received it from an old friend who, uh, uh, I mean, I had a lot of liberal views in the past and some of those views have changed over the years. And it was a very political statement for him to tell me that I am inconsistently consistent or whatever the difference was, consistently inconsistent. Well, I took that as a compliment because I valued change and I thought that it was extremely important. And this is not a political video. I'm not going to sit here and talk about liberal policies versus conservative policies. Um, I do share liberal views as well still. Clearly, if you watch my videos, you know that. But I have the ability to change just as everybody else does. And I change the way that I feel like I should. Something that I've never changed about myself is that regardless, I try to stay true to my word. In the past, due to certain circumstances, I haven't always been able to do that. I always try my best to stay true to my word and who I am as a man. And if you know me, that means my ex-wife is Peaches from the To Be Better podcast with her husband, Chris. And you guys know that on their podcast, they like to answer emails and talk to people about their daily lives and their relationships. Now, that's something that I don't like to do. Personally, I don't enjoy to sit here and tell you how to be a person or how to get through certain troubles or challenges. I am not the kind of person to always talk to people about what they should be doing or who they should be. But I am a person of integrity to a degree. I try my hardest to be as integral as possible to have as much loyalty to people who deserve it as possible. Now, the people who are in my life that I feel deserve my loyalty receive my loyalty. And there's only a few things that could actually take that loyalty away and those few things are specific per person. Not every person receives the same type of loyalty to me. Like, I'm a fairly cynical person even though I hate cynicism. I don't like the concept of taking and giving but looking at reality and how the world works and looking at the periodic table of elements, it is just a world-renowned fact that in order to give, you must receive, and in order to receive, you must give. It's a simple equivalent exchange if you've watched Full Metal Alchemist. Now, I think it's much more complicated than that. I think it's not something to just generalize. I think it deserves an entire video of itself. But I, I am an asshole, and I know that I am. And I'm going to continue to be, and I do not care if people disagree with that. I'm going to call people out for their bullshit if they are committing bullshit. If you have plans with a person, okay, and this is where I want to start getting a little personal. If you have plans with a person and you want to cancel those plans, cancel them in advance if you can. If you cannot, explain, hey, I lost track of time. I am so sorry I got caught up in this. I know I should be here doing this. I am sorry. And that would be like the end of it and it would be perfectly fine like give a detailed explanation don't just say i'm sorry laugh it off as a joke and then say you're going to do an extracurricular activity that has nothing to do with the thing that you were planning to do and laugh it off like it's some kind of joke and that it should not be a big deal one thing that i do agree with chris and peaches on their podcast is that you should be held accountable for your actions I hold myself accountable for my actions. I hold myself accountable for being an asshole because at the end of any kind of consolation or conference between a party and I saying to, to mend to mend any kind of relationship, I do apologize for being an asshole. But in the moment when I am being wronged or I am just being disrespected, I am going to be an asshole. And that is a declaration that I am making right now. 
I will never stop doing that. I believe in standing my ground on different discussions and, and different stan stances, like different subjects. I believe in standing my ground as a human being with my integrity and keeping myself as honest to myself and to people as possible. I do not like to be different in private versus different in public. I don't put a face on. I don't put a mask on. I want to be the same person in private that I am in public. I think that's something that I personally value. I find that personally important. You can disagree. You can do whatever. You may be, you may be your job to put on a persona and play a character. If that is who you are, I don't personally like you. I don't agree with you. If you hop on and you say some obscure bullshit, or if you don't value your own intelligence or the intelligence of your viewers, your chat, your audience, whoever the fuck watches your content, you are a piece of shit. If you go to your followers and you tell your followers that I am a petty person, you may be correct, but to, to do that without them knowing any kind of full story, without them knowing who I am, or why I am the way that I am, or why I choose to be an asshole, why I choose to be petty, it is not a mental illness. It is not a problem. It is not something that I'm going to solve. It's not something I'm going to spend time on outside of telling you that this is what it is. You will not get a different me. You will not see a me that is going to bend to the will to anybody unless I believe you deserve it. If you are an honorable human being, or if you are impressive, I will acknowledge that. That is a simple fact. Even then, like I said, these people will put a mask on, and they will play a character. I do find that impressive sometimes, de depending on the variables of how insane it could be, or how off, how different their private life and their public life could be. It, it, I find that impressive sometimes. I do. It's It's wild. It's insane, but I still find you a piece of shit. I don't want to take too much of your time. Clearly, I have said what I wanted to say. So saying anything further, unless, like I don't think that there requires m more elaboration. The people who are closest to you are going to break your heart at one point in your life. And, and hopefully, they handle it in a decent way. They turn around and they apologize for every single fucking detail and that they actually help you through the process of grieving that friendship or that relationship or that family member, whatever. Then they are smart. Then they are holding themselves accountable. Then they are having some sense of integrity whilst walking you through that process because it's not hard. It's not hard to stop what you're doing and say, I'm sorry for this, 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 and that. You can't just say, I'm sorry, and then not explain yourself. And then expect to not get shit. I'm sorry. You're going to get shit if you are not deliberately defining what you did wrong and holding yourself accountable. You cannot sit here and act like me or anyone else being legitimately upset with you for legitimate reasons is a problem. This all goes right back to losing the argument, and that's a different video. It's going to probably be in the description. Good night. Clearly, 